Hey, 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 YouTubers! Welcome back to Galactic Gaming. This is Hatfield15 reporting for duty, and today we are back with some more Metroid Prime 2. Echoes, O's, O's. Last time we played this game, we had ventured on into Dark Torvis Bog and we acquired the Grapple Beam after we had defeated the Grapple Guardian. So now that we actually have the Grapple Beam and a whole bunch of other good stuff, I think we'll actually be able to access the last two Torvis Temple Keys, in which I hope to actually be entering the Dark Torvis today. So just for a beginning, you guys, can this video please hit 15 likes, and if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please be sure to smash that subscribe button if you want a shout-out. Be sure to share your subscription to me publicly if you want to make sure you get a shout-out. So, without further said, we're all systems go for this video in 3, 2, 1, here we go. So if you guys notice, I did do a video of Metroid, uh, trying to Echoes, uh, yeah, just in the last couple, of, just a couple of days back, actually, so, yeah, the reason for that is, it, it, since, uh, Metroid Other M is now kind of, like, over after, now that the series is kind of over, I thought I'd do an extra episode of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, because as we all know, in the next video that I'm doing, Metroid Samus Returns is gonna be out, baby, so I just wanted to just, uh, kind of do something in the meantime until that, um, so that's why I did an extra episode of Prime 2. Alright, so now that the Alpha Blog is out of here, I do see a sign for a Rift Portal. Now there's a whole bunch of, uh, fishies right up ahead, so let's go ahead and blast them with some energy. Oh my god, I think I yielded a lot of light er of light bullet bullets from that. Alright, it's 97, that's close enough to full, so let's go ahead and, uh, shoot them and get some Dark Beam ammo. It's a good mechanic that you gotta shoot, uh, enemies with, uh, one beam to get, uh, to get the ammo of its opposite. So, okay, I've lost, uh... Pretty much more ammo than I've already acquired. Okay, now I have 100. I have full stuff here. All right, that rift portal should be somewhere around here. Um, wait, let's see. I gotta check the map. Let's see. Well, it should be. It, as a matter of fact, it should be right above me. So let's. Uh, oh wait, there it is. I think it's right up here. So yep, there it is. But I guess we just needed the gravity boost to get to it. So let's energize it with dark beam ammo, and let's head on into the dark Taurus fog once more. Well, the dark Taurus hydro dynamo to be exact. All right, it shows the exact same cutscene every time, except uh, when we acquire a suit upgrade, it just constantly changes. But it doesn't show like the beam as its uh, current use. Yeah, well, that was, uh, kind of what I expected to see, a Dark Temple key, or I, th I thought there had to be something to do with that Rift Portal, but, yeah, I guess we found out there's, there's an, yet another Torvis key right here. Key acquired, Oh yeah, wait, okay, those are just, uh, in tentacles or whatever. Okay, I don't think I've seen this area of the Dark Taurus Bog yet, so let's just, uh, check stuff out. Oh, boy, um, yeah, there's a couple of, uh, Dark, um, Reapers, or whatever the heck those things are called. Oh, God, there's another one. All right, we need a power bomb to get through that next one, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get through that one because we don't have power bombs. Looks like we're going to have to fight some kind of, like, a uh, power bomb guardian or something like that. I don't know. A lot of the enemies have been called guardians or whatever just because of their upgrades, so that's kind of cheesy because you can easily guess what their, uh, what the upgrade is you're going to acquire from it, so, yeah. Ah, crap. Um... Okay, okay, there we go. I was a little scared for a moment. For a second, I was thinking, wait, how do I get back up? And where is the Rift Portal even? But then I figured there's Rift Portal right there. And then a second, I was scared for a moment to see how was I going to get back up? Because the gravity boost doesn't work uh, outside of the water. Like, it works underwater for a few seconds, but it doesn't work above water. But then I, but I could try space jump, and yeah, it looks like it worked. Okay, so now that we have that Dark Taurus key, it looks like we can uh, head back out to the outer areas of dark of the Taurus Fog and actually go through Rift Portal, see if we can actually acquire that last Temple Key, which we couldn't acquire earlier. And let's just get a blast of these dudes right here. Alright, let's try to recover some stuff as we go along. Eh, that should be pretty close to even, so let's draw in all these energy pellets. Oh, okay, apparently those little fishies can hurt you, so let's just try and uh, blast them as we go along. So, yeah. Okay, sorry, if I sound a little sick, you guys, um, if I sound a little clogged up and sick, you guys, I'm sorry, I just got, the uh, common cold from school, because, you know, uh, school's back in, th and back in, uh, I don't want to say back in school, because that sounds so cheesy, but uh, school's back, and, uh, you know, I guess I may have, uh, must have come across, uh, must have gotten the common cold or something. Okay, there's these, uh, oh god, there's a blogling right there. I'm not, the bloglings don't really seem to attack you, well... Yet, at least. Uh, I'm sure the Bloglings will attack you at some point, but I just haven't seen that point for now. Uh, let's see. We trying to... Uh, eh, gravity boost up? Oh, hey, we can. I thought there had to be... Yeah, there is a Morph Ball thing somewhere. All right, let's see. Where is the way out of here? Um, yeah, it should be... Yeah, it should be on the higher levels above us, so... But, okay, okay. I, I was thinking... I didn't think we were going to catch that... Uh, tram or whatever. I don't... I, I didn't think we were going to catch this platform here. Okay, wait. There was a... Uh, here's the entryway right over here. So, if you guys don't remember where this uh, last Torvis key was, uh, I'll remind you guys as we're going along, because it shouldn't be too much further from here. So, I guess we couldn't access that uh, 
temple key from here. Let's actually see if I can pull it up on that dark map. Well, yeah, I suppose this doesn't help much, but I think uh, the last temple key was somewhere, I think it was somewhere around here. It had to be somewhere around here or somewhere else. I don't know. Well, so, hopefully with any luck, we will actually be going uh, into the Dark Taurus Temple and recovering the planetary energy from the Dark Taurus Temple uh, today. Alright, let's just uh, skimmy along until then. Yeah, boost ball. Okay. Well, okay, there's this a thing coming down from there. Okay, I want to find, uh, yeah, let's see. Where is the, where's the way to the portal from here? Um... Oh man, it's been so long since I've been to this specific area, I've forgotten everything. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to go this way and it'll bring me to like the main portal to Dark Taurus Bog as opposed to a Rift Portal where it'll bring me uh, some other place that I'm not exactly trying to go quite yet. Alright, these things are taking forever. I don't want to use all my secret missiles, but haul at ya boy, apparently. Yeah, it took up a lot of missiles, but... Wait, I see... Oh, that was a different thing, because that refueled all of my things, so maybe I should have... I felt like I should have used my scan visor on that, because, you know, I have a constant uh, thirst for knowledge, as you all know, but... Yeah, I suppose I was uh, dumb enough to skip up on that, but uh, hey, I guess we'll find out as we deplete more and more stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna keep my senses alert, because you never know when stuff could show up here. I'm gonna blow up all these pirate containers. Man, it looks... Maybe we only encountered the pirate commandos in this place only, like, once, and that's pretty much it for the that area. I mean, you encounter the pirate commandos in Dark Gator when they've been possessed by the Huntering, but... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much all you see of them. Alright, I had some, uh, I had a snack after I got home from school, so I just gotta try and swallow the comes out of my, uh, well, below my tongue exactly, so let me just give, have a second to swallow them. Alright, there we go, I'm good. So anyways, uh, Friday, September 15th, the next time I do a video, guys, it's gonna be a pretty big day, not only because of Metroid Samus Returns, because it's another big day uh, in terms of space stuff, because as we all, as some of you may or may not know, the Cassini mission is coming to an end, so by an end, I mean the Cassini probe is gonna crash into Saturn early, early in the morning, so, yeah, how early that'll be, it's like, uh, it'll be like, uh, six in the morning when the final transmission begins, so, when you guys, so, um, yeah, I'll be doing a vlog, I'll be doing a vlog Sunday, early morning before Metroid Samus Returns comes on, so I can, uh, kind of document my ideas, like, my, what my, my feelings on this, uh, on the end of a remarkable mission, because the Cassini, the Cassini spacecraft has been, uh, in space for just a month short of 20 years, so that's gonna be a pretty historic day, because it's done some important things for, uh, space exploration, so again, like I said, I'm gonna be covering it in a vlog. If you guys remember, uh, my Juno spacecraft vlog, I remember I did a vlog once upon a time early in my, uh, young YouTube career, and I, uh, documented um, the time where the Juno spacecraft entered uh, Jupiter's orbit. I had that app. It was called uh, NASA's Eyes. So if you guys want to go download NASA's Eyes, be sure to go check out the description below. Make sure you uh, download it. Because, like, um, it's by the government. Uh, but Okay, sorry. I'm completely messing up my stuff here. NASA's Eyes is 100% free and it's 100% space. Basically, it gives you like a real-time visualiz visualization animation of what's going on. So you guys can easily go ahead and download it if you guys want to see the Cassini spacecraft in its last little bit as it's completing its 22nd and final orbit before it crashes into uh, Saturn or pretty much burns up. That's, I really don't know how long it's going to survive in the atmosphere before the signal goes silent because uh, NASA's engineers are predicting about a minute before it like goes silent. Okay, if I go through the light beam hatch here, it'll bring me to the Dark Taurus Arena. So, yeah, my best bet is to go through the blue hatch that's, that's right over there. Can I hit it? Oh, wow, I can hit it from here. Well, the aiming mechanism, like, the aiming, uh, thing for this thing is really, like, the pointer is really easy to aim your stuff at. Yeah, I remember, I totally remember this place. All right, yep, there's some dark preeds, so now I'm totally remembering that this is the way we're supposed to go to get that dark Taurus key. Up, oh, hop it up. Eh, there we go. We got stuff, and now we can go through it even faster. Now we have our trusty friends of Boost Ball. All right, let's go ahead and zap these guys with Light Beam just because we can. Alright, let's wait for all that fog to disperse, um, well, d dilute is what I, I guess what the term was. Alright, there's, uh, yeah, there's some dark beam ammo right here. That'll be handy handy, because I feel like we're going to be fighting some kind of boss today. Yep, there we go, guys. There's a grapple beam point right over there, so we're definitely supposed to access this, uh, thing with the grapple beam. And I don't think the Torvis, uh, temple is too far from this point, as a matter of fact. So let me take a moment to look at the map here. Uh, yep, pretty much. We can get this key, we can immediately head on over to the Dark Torvis Temple. Now, there were Hunter in here, so I'm going to equip it with a uh, Light Beam, so hop it up, and Grapple Beam in time! Woo! Alright, the Hunter Aim already came out to play, but there you go, guys. We have the last of the three Dark Torvis Temple keys. So now, with that being said, we can access the Dark Torvis Temple. Don't want... I'm a little nervous. Oy! Oh, God, Hunter Aim. I knew there was going to be a Hunter Aim somewhere around here. Alright, dude, I have a Light Beam. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me, come at me, come at me. 
Uh, I'm ready for you. Okay, it takes uh, it takes three shots of the light beam to vanquish these dudes. Man, Hunter Ring are definitely probably not my type. Oh god, okay, I accidentally fell into some dark water there. As I was saying, Hunter Ring are not my favorite type of creature here in the Dark Taurus Hog, just because they're so pesky to get. I mean, it takes a uh, little bit of strategy, but once you kind of uh, figure out what you're supposed to do, I guess you can uh, hit them. Like, they go into a bit of a transdimensional flux for a little bit, but I suppose that's pretty much it. Alright, let me just hang out here for a few minutes. Yep, we can see the thing right up ahead. The key code has been acknowledged, and the final lock deactivated. You may now access the temple. Alright, let's recover a little bit of health in our safe zone here, but here we, are, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The Dark Taurus Fog with all three of these Dark Taurus Keys. Man, I don't know what kind of boss we're going to be fighting, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's not going to be a pretty sight. I mean, Amorbus was, uh, Amorbus was relatively easy, so this boss is going to be a little bit harder. Whoa, aw, oh, crap. Is this a trap? Because there's dark water flowing out here. Wait, maybe it's just supposed to push the platform up. Okay, yeah, it's pushing the platform up, so, yeah, that's a good... Oh, wow, the uh, Torvus, the Dark Torvus Temple looks... Oh, you can see the Luminoth statues from the Light Torvus Temple here. Oh, yeah, this doesn't look like too bad of a temple. Okay, there's a big safe zone right here, so we must be fighting some kind of uh, aquatic boss or something. All right, there's that thing right there. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it right here. Okay, there's a few things we can scan here. Object scan complete. Target is a cocoon. A field of dark energy is disrupting is disrupting the deep scanning ability. Unable to scan bioform within the cocoon. Energy may be mutating the bioform. There are signs of extreme growth presence in the cocoon structure. Okay, now let's see what these red things are. I feel like we're going to have to hit them with seeker missiles or something. Organic structure designed to support cocoon destruction where we'll release a cocoon. Okay, so by destroying this stuff, we will pretty much uh, release whatever uh, creatures in there. Um, like, can we hit it with... Oh, oh, we can destroy it with charge beam. Wait, can we? Oh, okay, we can destroy it with charge beam. I guess I wasn't uh, properly aimed here, so this will give me some time to destroy this stuff and uh, recover a bit of health before we fight this uh, giant boss-looking thing here. Man, it looks like an insect, because only insects uh, thrive in cocoons when they're babies. Okay, maybe it takes a couple charge beam shots to hit them, or it just takes a rightly placed shot. Okay, there we go. We knocked down the cocoon, but with my luck, that probably just released whatever the heck was in there. Yep, there's a house of the cocoon, so we have just... Okay. Yep, we have definitely just released that baby thing right there, but we have a nice big safe zone here, so we should be okay. Man, the gravity boost looks pretty cool on our back, as opposed to the two spikes poking out. Oh, it's roaring all right, so what is this thing, really? Yep. Oh, wow, that's a big boy. Well, it looks like it has some kind of Phazon stuff in it. Maybe it has something to do with Phazon. Oh, I don't know what the heck it is. Oh, this is, uh, this is okay music. Chica Larva. Okay, I might be Chica Larva. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and scan this thing. Okay, I saw some shredders in the back. Maybe they're dark shredders. I don't know. Morphology. Chica Larva. Inse infant Insectoid Guardian. Vulnerable area detected. Target has a soft underbelly. Adjusting lock-on points to take advantage of this. Alright, so we got aim for its belly, basically. Scans indicate that this bioform is an infant, but rapidly, aging rapidly. The t creature can ensnare targets with its tongue, drawing them into its mouth, and then covers its prey with an acidic, with acidic globs of biomatter to break it down in for digestion. This is an exceptional bioform with both a dark and light nature. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how we're supposed to kill this thing, but all I can guess, all I can guess for now is that we uh, nuke its uh, underbelly. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, those, uh, I'm gonna guess those were called dark shutters. Oh man, oh, 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 crap. Okay, we're supposed to, we're supposed to jump whenever it does that stuff. Okay, we gotta try and keep a lock up. Oh. Up, uh, holla at your boy! Oh boy, oh, okay, I don't think I hit it. Yeah, I did hit it. Let's not, let's not waste my missiles here. We, uh, wasting missiles is a big, big, big mistake. Alright, let's watch out. Let's just keep an eye out for those, uh, dark shredders. Oh, god, they're right behind me, aren't they? Mmm, yep, there they are. Okay, I'll, I'll scan them a little bit later. Okay, let's just try to blow them up my charge beam, because that takes, uh, it's a lot less costly. Alright, where's he at? Where you gonna pop? Oh, where you gonna pop? Okay, I missed... Oh, oh, okay, I, I, I felt like I was going to miss that shot, but yeah, I did with my luck. Uh, where are you at? Oh, he's coming up, he's coming up. Ah, ah, Fubuski. Okay, man, I keep missing my shots here, so I got I to gotta try and uh, be careful with my nunchuck here, because it is, uh, it has been acting a little iffy in the previous episodes. Okay, so if we hold, uh, if we hold Z, we pretty much just, uh, hold still. Okay, the, well, if we hit it, if we hit them once, they just expl eventually explode after a little bit. Ah, whiskey! Okay, maybe they just explode when they enter the safe zone. I typically notice that. Ah, Habuski! Yeah, there we go. Now we got it. Okay, crap, we got hit by some dark water, so let's try let's try using a super nuke, see how much damage that does. Ah, 
Holla cha boy! Okay, man, we missed it. Okay, so super nukes, they take a little bit to charge up before we actually fire them, so this might, uh, this might be one of those boss fights that takes a while. Alright, we got them shredders coming at us at uh, full speed. Let's actually, let's actually just scan them, even though we already know what they are. Dark shredder, yep, pretty much what I guessed. Alright, we're taking a bit of damage from all this, uh, dark stuff here. I don't have time to scan it because I'm lazy and I'm fighting a freaking Chica. Like, whenever, from after Five Nights at Freddy's, whenever, uh, oh god, okay, crap, the Chica came up and I wasn't even expecting it. Um, let's see, where's it gonna pop up? I'm just watching my radar at the back. Um, ah, ah, Fribush. Okay, man, okay, so, you know what, uh, super missiles, super nukes ain't gonna work, so let's just try and, uh, use stuff like the Dark Beam, because the Dark Beam can be powerful at times. Man, we've only gotten, like, one hit on this thing, and that's pretty much it. Okay, let's, uh, let's just power beam these things. Okay, the stuff, uh, the stuff covers us, but it doesn't actually damage us, so unless we're at, it's out of really close proximity. Man, this thing totally likes the shark. So, as I was saying, whenever, now, after Five Nights at Freddy's ran its course, like the franchise after it ran its course, uh, whenever I hear the word Chica, I just think of Chica from... Five Nights at Freddy's, because that just, uh, Chica just has, like, a really weird-looking face in the first FNAF game, if you guys have ever played it, which you probably have. Alright, I'm watching my visor. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright, we're, uh, Charge Beam does okay damage, but I'd like to see it do some more damage. These super missiles take a little bit more time to actually charge up before they fire. Alright, I'm just gonna keep my eye on this thing, because those things normally, the Dark Shredders normally show up when you, uh, do stuff. Okay, they're right over there, so like I just said, we gotta watch for them. Man, this, again, this is okay sounding music. Okay, 16 minutes into this episode, this might be one of those videos where we have to go into overtime. If we do have to go into overtime, then that's okay. Man, we've only got, again, we've only gotten like two hits on this thing. That's really, that's pretty freaking cheesy when you look at it. Uh, Habuski! Okay, we can hit it on its side. Let's switch it to the Dark Beam, see if that helps us out in any form or way. Uh, up, up, there he is. Here he comes. Here he comes! Okay, I don't think I hit him, so that was just a big waste of ammo. So thankfully, I refueled on all my stuff. I don't have as much light beam ammo, so yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, Chica, Chica, Chica. Man, now that I think of it, it's, uh, I also just remembered whenever I hear the word Chica, I also think of Mark Flyer's dog, Chica, which he got, I think it was about, I don't know, maybe it was a week or a month or so after uh, his old dog, Charlie, died. I believe that's what his old dog's name was, Charlie. Man, Rip Charlie, by the way. Yeah, then again, yeah, again, Chica just kind of brings back some memories of Five Nights at Freddy's for you all. Oh, crap, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming! Ha! There we go, I think we, I think we actually hit him. Like, switch it to Dark Beam, start charging, start charging, start charging. Ah, there he is, like, he was really close to pretty much where I was predicting. Ha! Ah, oh, man, I missed it again, oh my god, that just bounced right off of him. Yep, this is definitely probably going to be one of those long videos. So just sit tight, everybody, this is going to be a bit of a fight. Got the- oh, okay, crap, we don't want to get too close to the shredders. Thankfully, we're in a safe zone, so those shredders shouldn't do too much damage, and we recover health fast from those, uh, from those shredders that we kill here. Hmm, really, really nice music. Alright, it's gone under. Oh, it's coming out that way. Ah, Habeski! Oh, man, I missed. I knew I was gonna- I had the feeling I was gonna miss. You know, that's that feeling where you know you're gonna mess up. Yep, right here. Right here, everybody. Ah, Fabuski. Man, why, what does it take to hit this guy? Like, for real, what does it freaking take to hit him? All right, he's right there, and there's some more shreddies. Come on, I don't know why I just referred to a whole grain cereal or something. They're called sh dark, sh dark shreddies. That pop dark shreddies. Po a, pro a popular cereal in the dark uh, either. It's good for it's good for growing in warriors. Very, very good. And it uses one. It uses one and only one ingredient. The seas luminoth biomatter or whatever. Ah, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna land a super missile on this dude no matter how long it takes. Okay, crap. Okay, I lost the lock on him, so he gets gonna show up somewhere around here. He always shows up on like the other end of where he originally shows up. Habuski, man, those super missiles. I think they just bounce right off of him. So you know what? Let's just not use our super nukes here because they're just pretty much doing nothing right here. Ah, there we go. We got you. Oh, up. Oh, yeah, we got gotcha. you. Nice and good. We got gotcha. you. Habuski. Yeah, come on, come on. Yo, okay, man, these shredders are coming out, and they're coming out fast. All right, Chica's gone under, so let's watch. Yep, there he is, or there she is. You don't know. I'm just assuming genders at this point in time. I know that's very, very offensive to some people. All right, it's going to show up somewhere around here now. Holy crap, I'm psychic. Well, not really psychic. Ha! Okay, there we go. We can still hit its side, but it's, again, it doesn't do as much damage as it normally would. Ha! There he is, man. It's just kind of a, this is kind of a boring strategy. I mean, I'm sure the strategy will start to change up as we, uh, hit more and more on, uh, Chica Larva. So let's try and focus more stuff on him, because I, I think I've landed only, like, a total of three hits on him, so that's not, uh, that's not good going right 
here. Oh, oh god, okay. Yep, pretty much when I, just when I ask for a new attack strategy, this is pretty much what I get. No! Ah! N no! Super new! Ah, uh, no! Ah! Ah, boost. Oh, crap. I'm gonna get eaten. Ah, ah, crap. Ah, crap. Yeah, that wasn't the best go. I think I, uh, think I have a bit of a new strategy now. Okay, I don't know what just happened, but I think I might want to try and use Dark Beam out, because sometimes, uh, Dark Beam stuff works. I don't know. Maybe I just gotta use a whole bunch of missiles. So let's try and recover some of those missiles from these, uh, Dark Shreddies right here. Okay, my remote's vibrating. Yep, there we go. That's kind of the stuff. Whoa! Oh, God, you freaking cheek up turd person. Um... Ah, ah, Habuski! Ah, what? Man, why does it always bounce off when I try? I mean, <sighs> yep, this is definitely gonna be a little bit, a bit of a while. So, actually, uh, yeah, actually, no, I'm not gonna edit this out because I'm gonna continue to do some commentation as I go along. Okay, crap, there were some shreddies right here. Okay, I guess the shreddies fall along with, uh, I guess the dark shredders fall along with the chica as it just kind of moves along about its day. Okay, yep, here's uh, big ugly right here. Ah, how about, how about your boy? Oh, come on, I gotta try and do it when its mouth is open. Ah, come on, come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Ah, come on, what do I, what do I do? Like, what do I actually do to keep it from barfing in my face? Okay, I think I've done a little bit more damage than what I, uh, than what I've been doing previously. Okay, man, those shreddies, I guess the shreddies just show up just a little bit, uh, just not too far from when they're, for where the, uh, Chica's about to show up here. Alright, I've recovered some missiles. Okay, crap, I'm beginning to run low on missiles, so let's try and conserve it as we go. Alright, I'm just switching to Dark Beam, and I'm just gonna keep it as Dark Beam, because I don't know, you never know how much this could help us. I don't know, you never know, Light Beam could do some more damage. Ah, there we go. Okay, I think we actually did do some more damage with the Dark Beam, so let's try and, uh, use our ammo wisely here. Hmm. Man, you really do look like a shark, but you've got, like, a flat head or something. It almost looks like a pin or something. It looks like a pin. Now, of course, you've got the fish gills making you look like, uh, pretty much the jaws of Metroid Prime 2. Echoes, or whatever crap this is now, because I don't even know what this game is anymore. It's just, everything's just happening all at once. Okay, crap. Chica. Ha! Ah, there we go. We can get you. Uh, maybe we can strafe around. Oh, crap. Abuski! Ah, uh, come on. We gotta try and, uh, hit him. Ah, come on. Okay, man, what? Like, seriously, I'm just really at a loss right now of how you're supposed to defend yourself from that. Well, you never know. It could actually be what I predicted earlier. It could be just, uh, classic Dark Beam stuff. So maybe, yeah, super missiles, super nukes don't seem to do anything against this guy anymore. So, here we go. Switch it to Dark Beam. Gotta charge it up. Hurry, 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 hurry. Ah, ha! There we go. Okay, I think the Dark Beam is actually doing some damage. I don't know. I'll try and monitor his health as we actually hit him with the Dark Beam as opposed to the, uh, super nukes. Let's, uh, let's watch. Okay, I missed that shot, so not a good example. It's a good thing this thing doesn't just try to recover health, because if it was trying to recover health, that would just make my day a lot harder. Okay, it's swinging, uh, this way now. I won't call it... Yeah, it's clockwise. It's clockwise. I wanted to say counterclockwise for a moment, but no, that's the way it was going previously. Shreddies, come get, uh, blasted by me. Alright, now it's probably gonna come along here. Yep, here it comes. Here it comes. Ah, here it comes. Alright, here comes the tongue. Ah, ha! Alright, I think I actually did do some more damage right there. Oh, okay, we actually gotta hit it up. We actually gotta hit it a couple times. Oh, 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 okay, so I see it now. You're supposed to shoot it with the beam a couple times, and all of a sudden it goes, uh, it's kind of stunned for a moment, which you can, uh, hit it in this sensitive, uh, belly right there. Okay, that's a new strategy. I'm always looking for new strategies. At least any strategy that can get me to hit him faster and faster each time. Alright, he's gonna come out, uh, this way now. Okay, I'm just gonna let him, uh, ha! I'll have him, I'll give him a light beam shot right here. Alright, let's see if light beam, light beam does any more damage. Alright, here he comes. Here he comes. Ha! Oh, wow, Light Beam is actually doing a lot more damage this time. Alright, we're beginning to run kind of low on um, Light Beam ammo, so let's switch it to Dark Beam so we can get some ammo from these Shreddies. Let's like, wait till the Shredders actually get a little closer in order for me to actually hit them. Alright, come on. Come on! Okay, okay. Ah! Boom! 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 Hurry! Hurry! Alright, I'm not... That Chica's probably coming... Yep, there's the Chica. There's the Chica. There's Big Ugly right here. Let's wait till he opens his mouth. Ha! There we go. There we go. That's what we gotta do. We just gotta hit him as he comes about. Alright, let's try and super nuke him. Ah! Come on! Fire! Oh, wow. There we go. Now we're actually getting some progress here. Okay, this thing's rapidly aging, so I'm really not sure what that the rest of this course is supposed to be. Alright, Dark Beam ammo. Yeah, we're running low on it, so let's actually try some... Let's try using the Light Beam on these, uh... Shreddies right here. Ah, yeah, ah, 
Come on, give me some dark beam ammo already. Yeah, there we go. That's the stuff we want to see. Ah, all right, we all, all right, fine. I'll let them have that one. All right, let's get the light beam charging up. And, okay, I wasn't, I thought I wasn't charging for a moment, but there we go. Now it's charging. Ah, Habuski. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now I actually have a proper strategy to killing these things. Yeah, yeah, for a second I couldn't decide what ammo I want to try and acquire faster, but then I figured, yeah, why not? Let's go with uh, light beam ammo. Alright, let's lock on to these things so we actually have a uh, lock on it, because we don't, we want to use every shot wisely here. Oh, okay, I thought those, uh, for a second I thought that these uh, dark beam shots were going to go into the water so we couldn't actually get them. Alright, we have more uh, dark beam than light beam ammo, so, ha, ah, there we go. Alright, let's get him. Okay, you can actually see the dark beam shots, like the effect it has on the Chica when you shoot him. Yeah, I don't think we can actually, I don't think we'll be able to make it to the part where we shoot his belly next time because I think we're going to kill him pretty darn fast here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go for more dark beam out because dark beam out seems to be more important here. Alright, it's coming up, uh, it's coming up this way, so, okay. Oh, right, yeah, actually, now that I think of it, let's actually try and use some light beam. Let's actually try and use the light beam, see if that does anything. Okay, it did something, because apparently we just killed this dude. Rest in peace, Chica. Go die with Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, sorry, more FNAF references. Okay, the thing split off into three things, so this may, be, may or may not be something good. Alright, those grapple beam looking points seem to have appeared. Alright, what's that? Oh, wait, that's another... That looks like another Chica. Ah, crap. Do we have to fight an adult Chica, too? Well, I did kind of... I, okay, wait, it's glowing... Yep, we have to... Holy crap, that thing's a full-on wasp this time. Yeah, now I'm a little more scared of this fight. Chica adult. All right, let's go ahead and scam this dude. Um, ah, come on. Okay, crap, crap. Ah, woo! Grapple beaming. Ah, come on. Come on, hold still for one second. Dude, I want to scan you. Hold still for one second. Okay, crap, it was doing that already, so that's not bad. Morphology. Chica, flying insectoid guardian. This light creature can be stunned, especially by dark energy. While stunned, look for weak spots to the tar- to the- to the- to the to look for weak spots to target. Okay, so we gotta hit it with dark beam this time. The Chica has rapidly aged to its adult form. It will attack by firing high speed bursts of dark water at rapid speed. If frustrated, it will attempt to dive and, dive and ram you. Most of the Chica's body is vulnerable to weapon fire, but scans indicate that such fire will only stun it. When stunned, however, four weak spots will appear. These spots are vulnerable to attack. Target down and to damage the enemy. Okay, so now we've got to fight an even more aggressive uh, thingy than before. Okay, crap. Um, I, I, let's go ahead and scan these things, even though they're pretty much useless. Platform pieces have to become unstable. Suspension, flotation systems are functioning in an erratic uh, fashion. All right, we have some dark beam ammo, so let's try and uh, let's use every shot here. Let's use every single shot we can here. Um, wait, maybe we're actually maybe we're actually supposed to aim for that spot right there. Okay, crap. Let me back on, dude. Give me a chance to get back on board. Uh, uh, come on, hold still so I can blast you. Ah, uh, wait. Can we? Do we? Does it even hit anymore? Ah, ah, crap. Ah, crap. Okay, here it comes. Okay, yeah, there we go. I suppose that's the warning we got from the whole dive and bomb, dive and ramp thing. All right, come on, Chica, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Can't you just die along with Five Nights at Freddy's? Okay, we can actually, okay, there we go. We got, there we go. We, we hit it, we hit it. I said multiple weak spots, so that must mean something to do with Seeker missiles. Uh, all right, come on, grapple beam across, quickly like, quick like. Uh, uh, holla at your boy! There we go, we hit it! Okay, there we go, I see a strategy now, we're supposed to stun it with dark beam ammo, like it, like, like with dark beam, uh, shots, like it said there, and, uh, pretty much go in for the kill with it. Alright, let's grapple beam across, just so we can ensure our safety here. We just got ourselves even closer to it, so, back across, um, grapple beam, grapple beam, don't fail me now. Okay, we're doing okay with health, but let's just try and, uh, do some more stuff here. Ah, uh, alright, crap, it's doing more stuff. Ah, ah! Ah, 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 whoa, what's going on? Okay, I didn't even know what was going on there for a moment. Okay, no, that we didn't, we didn't want to grapple beam across. Okay, it's not, no dark shreddies are showing up anymore. Dark shreddies aren't showing up anymore. Ah, crap, we're really, we're really running low on, uh, on dark beam ammo, so let's try and switch it to power beam until we can get some stuff done here. Ah, uh, let's see, oh, okay, crap, we accidentally, uh, did some stuff there. Um, yeah, let's try, let's actually try and stun it with some light beam ammo. Well, it is a light creature, so let's actually... See if we can actually... Okay, yeah, power beam... Power beam shots can still, uh... Power beam shots can still hurt this thing, but given it's probably not as effective as, uh... The dark beam stuff... Okay, wait, okay, I thought the... I thought the safe zone got nullified like it does in with the Amorbus fight in the... Right over there. Okay, there we go. We hit it. Okay, come on. Come on. Go, 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 Samus. Go, 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 go. Or let's not... Let's not waste a single missile here. 
Okay, it's more. Uh, we're not all the way back behind it. Hurry, hurry! Haul at your boy. Yeah, there we go. We got it. It's doing. Uh, it's doing okay damage. Whoa. Okay, what is it? Okay, I guess. Uh, is he okay? Well, of course it's okay. He's uh, just uh, doing some more stuff there. Okay, the music from the ma baby chica, it's gotten a little faster now. Oh, God, there's that big uh, ing sack. So maybe it has something to do with the light beam, light beam thing. Okay, we can scan it. All right, let's go ahead and look at this bad boy right here. Dark chica. Okay, I just got possessed by the ink, making my day worse right here. More follow D. Dark Chica, Dark Energy Charged Flying Guardian. Target is charged with Dark Energy. Most of its body is immune to damage. Save for the lower egg sac. Avoid attacks by targets offspring swarms. Oh god, this is not going to be a good thing. The Chica has recovered and energized its body with Dark Energy. This energy is, has rendered most of the creature immune to attack, including the wings. Tactical scans indicate that its egg sac is vulnerable. However, target it to damage the creature. Okay, let's uh, let's try and use some light beam ammo. See if that does some extra stuff here. Ah. Uh, Ha! There we go. We got him. Okay, we got some stuff coming in right over here. Um, let's see. What are these things? Uh, cheeklings. Okay, I don't want to... I, I frankly don't want to know. Um, ah. Go away. Okay, I think we're supposed to grapple beam it across here. Okay, we might actually have to kill those cheeklings in order to actually get stuff done here. All right, there we go. Okay, it just uh, energizes and de-energizes as we uh, move along in the fight here. Ah. Uh, ah. Ah. She got... She gotta go die with the rest of the FNAF franchise. Ah, Grapple Beam, save me! Save me, beautiful Grapple Beam creature thing. Well, it's upgrade. I don't know why I assumed the Grapple Beam was a creature. All right, all right, okay, there we go. Okay, we gotta try and kill them more. Okay, though, all those cheeklings gave us a whole bunch of stuff. I don't have scan. I don't have time to scan for the other stuff. Um, all right, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Call at your boy! Yeah, there we go, we got him. Okay, I was beginning to run low on stuff there, so I was getting a little scared. Man, this is actually going a little fast. Uh, this is going faster here. This guy... Oh, crap. Here it comes. Oh, God. Grapple Beam. Save me, beautiful. Grapple Beam upgrade thing. Ha. Ah, man, there we go. Now this fight's going a little faster. All right. Okay, we can't actually still hit it as it's flying around. Holla, chill, boy! Okay, the missile just bounced right off of it. Let's try not... Uh, yeah, it said it was energy that stunned it, not exactly missiles that stun it. So let's try not... Uh, let's try not use our... Let's fully use our beams here. All right. Yep. Yeah. Up we go. Um, we gotta get across one more grapple beam. I like how in this fight we actually got a grapple beam across the entire thing to actually hit the weak spots on this thing. Oh, wow. There we go. We're doing a lot more damage now. Okay, crap. Okay, I knew it was gonna do that. Alright, it's recovering, so let's wait for it. Okay, we're running low on some light beam ammo, so let's try and, uh, use the dark beam on it in case we do. Um, yep, same old dark chica as usual. Uh, let's, okay, let's not waste, let's wait, let's not, let's use every last shot to the fullest. Alright, we're lo losing ammo. We're down to, uh, the crit we're down, we're down to the low stuff now, so that's uh, another especially good reason to, uh, use every shot as it kills. Alright, let's wait for those cheeklings to show up. Yeah, there we go. Come at me, cheeklings. I'm not afraid of you. Ah, alright, let's try and get that stuff in. Yeah, there we go. We got some more, uh, we got some more stuff. Uh, okay, Dark Beam obviously isn't gonna do stuff, and now I don't even have enough for, uh, for a mini shot. Oh, we killed the Chica. Oh, okay, I didn't expect to kill it this fast. Chica defeated. All right, that over this overtime episode was definitely worth it. Well, we finally did it, guys. We recovered the energy in the Dark Torvus Bog. Well, not quite yet. We gotta get into the temple, actually. Okay, the main things are just gonna reform into one here. Okay, the water levels have gone down, so this is safe. Oh, it's a new visor. Oh, I completely did not think about this. I didn't think about getting the new upgrade. Okay, there's a big Chica right over here. Bioscan complete. Target Chica has been terminated. Obviously. Life signs are at fly like no regenerability in effect. Okay, there's um, some different Dark Beam stuff right over here. Dark Beam ammunition 30. All right, let's uh, bring that in with the good stuff. Okay, there's uh, new missiles right here. Missile ammunition 10. All right, let's not waste... Uh, and in my light beam ammo as well. I don't know, what kind of visor is this? It's like x-ray, thermal? I don't know, let's take a look at it, see what it is. Nice symbol right over there. Dark visor? Oh, that's actually really interesting. So let's go ahead and see what this dark visor thing's all about. Yeah, again, that, 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 oh, this overtime episode has definitely been worth it. I'm gonna end the video probably after I get into the Dark Forest Temple and I reacquire the energy. Dark visor acquired. Press minus and then point to, point left to activate the thing. Ah, it's good to have some new visors all of a sudden. Oh, okay, those things are floating up. Oh, they're turning invisible. Oh, right, maybe this has something to do with the dark visor. So let's go ahead and check out the additional data about the dark visor, just to make sure I think I know, well, I, in case I think you know what it does. Okay, I gotta take a breath for a moment. Um, 
Let's see, visors. Okay, here's some new stuff. Combat, scam, dark visor. The dark visor can detect in... in the dark visor can detect interdimensional objects that are un normally unseen. Press and hold. Sam says no. So dark visor will highlight most creatures as a targeting aid. Oh, okay. So I guess this helps us see some invisible stuff. So this will give us an advantage with finding when finding the hunter ring. Okay, the stuff looks a little bit garbled here. Like the visor screen looks a little bit garbled all, all around it. But okay, um, okay. It highlights some stuff. It highlights some stuff within this big symbol here. But we can still see some other transdimensional stuff in gray. Okay, I actually can't tell. Are we moving a little slower? I actually, again, I don't know. I don't know if we're moving slower or faster. All right, thank you, Dark Visor. You were actually really useful. Okay, that was a different looking hatch here. Okay, here's a uh, security station for the Dark Torvis Bog Temple. Ha! There we go. I'm surprised the Morph Ball doesn't change when we got the Gravity Boost. I mean, the Gravity Boost effect carries on to it uh, in the Morph Ball mode, but I'm surprised the Morph Ball like appearance doesn't change as it does with some new suits when we acquire them. Okay, I remember, I remember from the Agon Waste once we acquired the um, Dark, when was we acquired the Planetary Energy from there, the sky went uh, red. So we'll prepare to see this sky go red once again, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Man, it's been quite an adventure, and I think roughly seven episodes after we acquired the energy in the Egg on Waste. Like, yeah, it was episode 7 where we acquired the energy from Dark Egg on Waste, and it's, uh, I believe this is lucky episode 15 where we acquired the energy from Dark Taurus Fog, so... Yeah, yeah, roughly a seven episode gap before we acquired the uh, Dark Energy. Definitely a lot more handy that we can now access the Temple Keys with the Grapple Beam and all that. So I guess next episode, next episode we're going we're gonna to be restoring the energy to the Taurus Fog and uh, heading on to whatever area is next. Yep, the skies turn red just like it did in the Agon Wastes. Well, the Dark Agon Wastes, so that's still kind of a scary sight to see. Yeah, Samus is still radiating with all that planetary energy. So let's go ahead and get over to get it over to its place on the to um, the light world. Energy transfer complete. Return this the energy to its temple on Aether. Okay, I'm like I said, guys. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and end the video here. So I'm gonna proceed to the nearest save room in the Light Torvis Bog, and uh, I'm gonna save there because in the next episode we are gonna be restoring the energy to the Torvis Bog and moving on to wherever area is next. So for now, that's about all the time we've got today. So thank you all for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe, leave comments down below because I like them, and crank that like button to the max like soldier boy. Till then, I'm Hadfield15. Space out, bros and Rositas.